When you have to move to survive, you learn fast. In just seven minutes, this wildebeest calf will learn to run. And she'd better run, because ahead of her lies a 2,000-mile obstacle course. One encounter has never been filmed. Follow a runner in the world's most dangerous marathon. For the predators of the Serengeti, the dinner bell is about to ring. And no ordinary dinner either. An annual feast. December brings the rainy season to northern Tanzania. Parched valleys refill with life. Nearly a quarter million zebra migrate through this land. Yet these herds pale next to another grazer. The lawnmowers of the Serengeti. The wildebeest. More than a million strong. The greatest land migration in the world. The homely wildebeest is the true star of the Serengeti. It's made return engagements for a million years. And it's the attraction so many have been waiting for. An adult wildebeest is no pushover. At 600 pounds, it outweighs a lion, with sharp horns, hooves, and senses. Predators are waiting for easier prey. And it's about to appear. With so much grass, the wet season is the ideal time to give birth. But wildebeest are the only bovids that synchronize birth. Within three weeks, 90% of the calves will be born. More prey than predators can eat. Of all the calves to be born today, one will become the target of every predator. In about seven minutes, the calf will learn to run. With nowhere to hide, she'll have no choice but to run. Predators are waiting to pick off strays.
she can't keep up with her mother, she's a goner. Moments from birth, she faces her first survival test. Wildebeest protect calves by herding, but the herd moves away from one threat towards another. Just one more day, she could keep up with the herd, but her fate will be decided in seconds. Mother can't save her, and they can't take her. Cats are known to toy with their food, but what happens next is unheard of. A newborn wildebeest doesn't know a lion is a foe. Only a miracle can save this mother's calf. Then, something miraculous. Instinct draws the newborn to a mother's warmth. Maybe the lioness has lost her own young. of nature, the lioness has saved the calf from hyenas. But how long is she safe here?
Finally, a distraction. Nature knows why she lets the calf go. But where's mother? The worst threat to newborns is separation. Bad to worse. Cold, hungry. And motherless. Poor odds for survival. The lost calf has survived the night, and she's no longer alone. But which one's her mother? She'll know by her call. A mother only has enough milk for one. She's so hungry, she looks for milk anywhere. She's just not welcome here. She has just hours to find her mother. The odds are against the lost calf, but fate's on her side. Homecoming. Twenty-four hours after losing her calf, reunion. Threatened by hyenas, saved by the lioness. Safe at last. Call this lucky calf survivor.
Joy today. Jeopardy tomorrow. Water holes become quagmires, and lakes become traps. Survivor's mother is stuck. Survivor's too light to bog down, but her mother is too heavy. Abandoning her mother is like abandoning life. Once more, Survivor is motherless and helpless. It's a perfect time for an opportunist. They just came for a drink, but they may get a meal. Another pride has the same idea. As the land dries up, predators must share the water. But who will get the dinner? about her mother. <laughs> Mum is a survivor too. Mother like daughter. Survivor's hardest test still lies down the road. A gauntlet of death. At four weeks old, Survivor begins the world's longest land migration. For a beast that lives on grass, life revolves around rain. drought yet. The rains have simply moved on, and so must the wildebeest. The Serengeti is bigger than Sicily. 
Each year, wildebeest circle from pasture to pasture, a journey nearly 2,000 miles long, and a rhythm as old as mankind. Survivor and her mother can't go more than two days without water. Water at last. For Survivor, the migration is the ultimate test. The whole route is booby-trapped. Along the way, the old, the sick, the lame, and the lost are left behind. One day, the cheetah cubs will threaten the herd. A master of the hunt will teach them. She's found her target. Survivor. A cheetah is the world's fastest runner, clocked at 70 miles an hour. But she's a sprinter, not a marathon runner. After 300 yards, she'll run out of steam. Cover lets her start the chase as close as possible. It's no use. Survivor is well protected. Cheetah mothers avoid adult wildebeest. The risk of injury outweighs the gain. She wants a softer target. cheetah may go five days without hunting, but with so many mouths to feed, she'll likely kill again tomorrow, or today. <laughs> Hyenas have their own place to stash food. They're good swimmers, so they bury prey here, like squirrels hoarding food for hard times. Oh. Hyenas are the Serengeti's most plentiful carnivore. They live in packs up to 90 strong, cooperative and intelligent. They often group their kills to safeguard them from scavengers. Blessed with acidic guts, they can stomach rotting flesh. July, and the wildebeest head deeper into the dry season. The less grass, the more they move. 
survivor and her mother travel hundreds of miles, and every yard is hostile territory. Survivor has more lives than a cat. But ahead lies a hazard she can't outrun. One carnivore can track the migration, and it knows what's waiting. Trouble. The Grometi River is low in the dry season, but strong enough to sweep away a full grown wildebeest. Survivor is stronger now. But the current isn't the only hazard. Nile crocodiles can grow 20 feet long. Some weigh more than a wildebeest. They can devour half their weight in one meal. They eat anything and fear nothing. After marching all day, Survivor is thirsty, but wary. Survivor is on the horns of a dilemma. Die without water, or die within it. It may be suicide, but their instinct to move is too old and too strong. Some have done it a dozen times, but for Survivor, it's all new.
those who survive the current and the crocs still face the reception committee. Finally, Survivor's mother takes the plunge. And Survivor follows. The great wildebeest crossing is over. Downstream are the dead, the dying, and the defiant. Survivor and her mother. Croc's jaws versus the will to survive. A great escape, but hold the applause. On the Great Migration, safety keeps one step ahead. Unlike other residents of the Serengeti, birds of prey have a place of their own. Few outsiders intrude, and they're harmless. They have it all here. Cooler temperatures, plenty of water, and a view of their next meal. In comfort and safety, they wait for the best kind of news another creature's misfortune. The prayers of the Maasai are answered. November drowns the dry season. Misery has a silver lining. After the deluge comes the feast. They're back.
Maybe wildebeest can smell rain. Or maybe they link thunder with heaven. Birthday. The siblings are one year old. And all but one are healthy. He's a victim of the dry season and a close brush with a famished lion. Out here, most cripples would be goners, but cheetahs have a good health plan. Cheetah brothers stick together, and they share their meals. The cubs, so harmless a year ago, finally pose a threat to survivor. They can hunt. The population of predators will soon grow. Nature has re-carpeted survivor's birthplace. The migration has come full circle. Hundreds of thousands is one in a million. Survivor. Survivor's mother has also returned, but she's gone her own way, ready to mate again. For the first time, Survivor faces death on her own. A showdown a year in the making has finally arrived. Peter Brothers versus Survivor. Three against one. Pity Survivor. The brothers are the ones to pity. Survivor can fend for herself. Time was once Survivor's enemy. Now it's her ally. In prime health, she completes two more migrations and enters a new phase of life. Throughout the herd, seeds sown during the rut 
are about to bear fruit. And among the new mothers is Survivor. Welcome, the new survivor. Together, they'll run the dangerous marathon that a billion others have survived. Wildebeest can live for more than 20 years. The trick is to just keep moving. Thank you.